of us love babies, don't we? I'm not just talking about human babies. We love puppies, kittens and chicks. They're super cute and absolutely adorable. Today in Unit 1 of EVS, we are going to learn about how babies come into being. The process by which living things produce more of their own kind is called reproduction. So we are going to look at how different animals reproduce. Not all animals reproduce the same way. Some lay eggs while some give birth to their babies. Let's look at some of the egg laying animals. Can you think of some? Yes, birds. Other than birds, there are animals like frogs, turtles, snakes and insects that lay eggs. The babies grow inside of the eggs, then they hatch out, grow some more and become adult animals. These different stages of development form what is called the life cycle of that animal. Let's look at some of the life cycles of egg laying animals. Let's start with insects. Insects like butterflies, cockroaches and ants. This is how the life cycle of a butterfly looks like. The butterflies lay their eggs on the leaves. There are babies inside these eggs and when they hatch they look like caterpillars. We are very familiar with caterpillars, aren't we? This stage is called the larva stage. Caterpillars are forever hungry. They keep eating and gaining a lot of weight. They get rounder and rounder by the day. After a while, they spin around them a protective cover called cocoon. This stage is called pupa stage. After the pupa stage, the caterpillar turns into a butterfly and the butterfly breaks open the cocoon and comes out. This is called metamorphosis. So that's it about the life cycle of a butterfly. Let's move on to how birds produce their young ones. They also lay eggs. Inside the eggs there is a jelly-like substance and also a yolk. The jelly-like substance is where the babies are and the yolk gives the nourishment or the food that is needed for the babies. Now the babies at the right time hatch out of the eggs, grow into adults. This is how the life cycle of a bird looks like. How about frogs? Let's look at the life cycle of a frog. As you know, frogs are amphibians. They live both in water and on land. They lay their eggs in water. And out of the eggs come tiny fish looking creatures called tadpoles. Tadpoles look very different from an adult frog. Once they come out, they grow into looking like an adult frog. So this is the life cycle of a frog. Let's look at other animals like turtles, snakes and crocodiles. Where do they lay their eggs? They lay their eggs on the land. Sometimes they even cover the eggs up with sand so that the eggs get enough warmth. And out of the eggs hatch babies of these animals. If you've helped your parents clean up your house, you may have noticed these white little eggs on the windowsills, under the shelves or on the furniture. What do you think they are? These are the eggs of lizards and out of these eggs come lizard babies. The same with ants. How about fish? Fish also lay their eggs in water. In fact, a fish lays about a thousand eggs at a time and very few of them actually make it into being babies. Do you know what fish babies are called? Fish fry. I know, it's funny, it's not the same fried fish that you may like to have. So this is how the life cycle of a fish looks like. Eggs, fish fry and adult fish. 
If you've watched the movie Jurassic Park, you would know that dinosaurs, which are extinct now, also used to lay eggs. And those eggs, paleontologists say, used to be super huge. So that's it about some of the examples of egg-laying animals. Let's look at animals that reproduce by giving birth. These kind of animals are called mammals. Can you think of some examples? Human beings, dogs, cats, lions, tigers, elephants. How do they reproduce by giving birth? The mothers carry the young ones inside their wombs. When they are fully developed, the babies come out. That's how you came about. You were inside your mommy's tummy or her womb for nine whole months. There is a tube called umbilical cord that used to connect you with your mother and this tube used to carry oxygen and food when you were inside her tummy. Now, there are exceptions also. There are animals like dolphins and whales. How do you think they reproduce? They look like fish. They must be laying eggs, right? No, they are mammals. They give birth to their young ones. Another exception that we will look at now is a duck-billed platypus. They lay eggs and you know what? When the eggs hatch, the babies come out and the platypus would actually feed the babies with their own milk. So they have both the characteristics of an egg-laying animal and also a mammal. Interesting, isn't it? We've come to the end of this unit. You can find this unit on pages 98 to 105 in your textbook. Let's look at what all we learned. In this unit, we learned about reproduction, reproduction by laying of eggs and also by giving birth. We learned about life cycles of different animals. We also looked at some exceptions. Read up more about these topics and Happy learning. See you soon.